Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and cover some new uniques that they just uh, went and teased on the website for the upcoming 3.0 expansion. Uh, and there's a couple of uniques here. One of them actually is centered around traps and we're gonna go ahead and cover them right now. So the first one is gonna go ahead and, or it's gonna be a helmet. Now I haven't really looked at these too much. Uh, so let's take a good look at them. 23 dexterity seems okay. Um, increased skill effect duration, 2% increased minion attack speed per 50 dexterity, 2% increased minion movement speed per 50 dexterity. Minion hits can only kill ignited enemies. Now, I don't really play much minion builds, um, to be completely honest. I mean, I have played them, you know, from time to time, but I just don't really understand the point in getting so much dexterity. Um, I don't know, maybe there's like some unique interaction somewhere that I just don't specifically see. I know this seems like they want to promote the use of the Immolate Support Gem, which is, you know, with the minions hits can only kill ignited enemies. So who knows? But overall, this seems like a really interesting piece. I mean, just alone, the 14% skill effect duration is pretty good on it, but uh, I don't really know. All right, Tinker Skin. This one I heard a lot of hype around, so let's see. 160% increased evasion and energy shield, 60 ma uh, maximum life. 22% increased cooldown recovery speed for throwing traps, so that's really good. 15% chance to gain a frenzy charge when your traps is triggered by an enemy. 30% chance to gain phasing for 4 seconds when your trap is triggered by an enemy. Recover 100 life when your trap is triggered by an enemy. Recover 50 ES when your trap is triggered by an enemy. I don't know, my biggest concern with this chess piece is that... The Saboteur Ascendancy is already almost never played for traps. It's usually played for mines. And the trap is triggered by an enemy does not work with... Um, uh, oh, fuck. I don't even remember what it's called. What is, the, what is the node called? Let me just pull it up here just to be exactly sure. Chain Reaction. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Chain Reaction. So I know you guys can't see this, but it says, When your traps trigger your nearby traps also trigger. So chain reaction via cluster trap does not actually apply like a ridiculous amount of healing or etc. from this. You'll pretty much have permanent phasing, like that's guaranteed. The frenzy charge sustain is gonna be kinda wonky. It will work out well if you pair it with the uh, the frenzy charge located at like the bottom. The, there's another trap wheel for it and that's not too bad for it. But I mean, maybe, you know, I just need some more time to play around with this. But overall, it doesn't really seem too bad. Nothing like super OP off the top of my head. Uh, but it seems pretty okay. Soul Tether. Now, I never really looked too much at this belt, but I, I do believe it was data mined a while ago, right? 40 intelligence. Your energy shield... Wait, your energy shield starts at zero. Am I retarded? You cannot recharge energy shield. You cannot regenerate ES. You lose 5% of energy shield per second. Life leech is applied to energy shield instead while on full life. You gain 4% of maximum life as extra maximum energy shield. Hmm. I don't really know. I don't really have much to say about the spell. This is like super out of my comfort zone for like the builds I usually play. Your energy shield starts at zero. What does that mean? You're, you cannot recharge energy shield. You cannot regenerate energy shield. You lose 5% of energy shield per second. Life leech is applied to energy shield instead while on full life. Gain 4% of maximum life as maximum. Man, this is a pretty interesting belt though. I'm pretty curious for the concept of this belt, but it's a little wonky for, for special people like me. But anyway, moving on to On's Might. On's Might is, let's see, uh, I don't really know how good the physical damage is on the sword. But it's a one-handed sword with 300 strength requirement. So it's minus one maximum frenzy charges along with a 50% global critical strike multiplier while at maximum frenzy charges and 15% area of effect of skills while you have no frenzy charges. So that's pretty cool because there are um, there are unique jewels that you can use and I do believe let me go ahead and see if I can pull them up here. PoE unique jewels. All right, so there is 
There are, uh, where is it? There's not Green Nightmare. Pacifism? Pacifism is minus maximum frenzy charges. So realistically, if you were to use two pacifisms with an Ons Might, you would get minus three frenzy charges. I'm not saying you should, but realistically, if you think this out, you would get 50% crit multiplier because you have zero of zero frenzy charges, which should tag you as max. Then you would get 15% increased area of effect of skills because you have no frenzy charges. And then if you play a gladiator, gladiator states, while at maximum frenzy charges, you get 10% more damage. So that guard or that gladiator ascendancy would also give you an additional 10% more damage. Um, just to pull it up, I think I have it shown here. Let me show you guys my path of building that I installed the other day because I can't show nodes on this skill tree calculator that I pulled up previously. Uh, where is, how do I even use this program? Um, please don't judge me guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Where is it? Duelist, Ascendancy, Gladiator. So Gladiator Ascendancy would give you 10% reduced physical damage, to, oh sorry, 10% more physical damage while at maximum frenzy charges. So that's pretty interesting. It's just a little bit of interesting synergy there um, that I was thinking about the other day when someone brought it up. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the new uniques. Let me know what you guys think of them in the comments below. Uh, it would be pretty cool to get a nice little discussion. If you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.